everybody, Alicia here with Tarot Drift and one serious hauler for epic day hikes or ultra light overnight backpacking trips or a quick peak bagging sesh, whatever. Yep, this is the Mile 28 liter from Waymark Gear Co. And it's designed to be a stellar ultra light but ultra durable pack for all kinds of backcountry adventures. So let's dish, shall we? For starters, the bag weighs in at 16 ounces and doesn't feature heavy design features like a frame or bulky padded hip belt. It offers a total capacity of 20 8 liters when you include all the pockets, but the main body is 22 liters. It has this big old spacious main pocket with a roll top closure up top, complete with webbing strap for attaching a sleeping pad or rain shell or some such, plus a front access zipper pocket with organization, and a large stretchy front pocket perfect for storing easy access items like hats or extra layers or whatever. There's an integrated padded back panel, very minimally padded, like there's an ultra thin layer of foam in there, and compression cords with adjustable line locks on the sides of the bag to secure tall items like umbrellas or tent poles to the sides of your pack. There are also nice wide shoulder straps complete with webbing loops so you can attach Waymark accessories like, say, a stretch shoulder pocket for extra snacks or water bottles. And there are trekking pole loops with a bungee tie-off up top. You've got your handy expandable side pockets for stashing water bottles of all sizes, and requisite sternum strap, of course. Plus, you can add on a one-inch webbing hip belt, which is handy more for stability than actual load shifting comfort, but good to have an option. Pretty cool, right? So we took it out on some hill country adventures to test it out and figure out what the bag is best suited for. Long story short, epic day hikes and quick and dirty ultralight backpacking trips. No, we and Waymark actually don't necessarily recommend it for quick and easy day hikes. It's just not designed to be efficient for that kind of adventure because it's just too big for that. By which I mean it feels a lot bigger than 28 liters, even bigger than 22 liters, which is what the main pocket can technically hold. On one hike we took snacks, water, an extra layer, sunscreen, etc., and it all practically got lost in the recesses of the bag. But that's because it's designed with long haul days in mind. Think 20 mile hikes that involve summiting mountains, rounding alpine lakes, tackling significant ups and downs, hikes where you're gonna need several layers, plus plenty of food, extra gear, more than just a light jacket and some cliff bars, basically. Plus, when you carry the bag with that little in it, and the top strap is cinched down with nothing attached to the top, the webbing strap dangles in front of the zipper pocket and gets in the way of zipping it shut. This obviously wouldn't be a problem if something was loaded on top, but it's another reason why it's not conducive for, say, short trips. Likewise, the opening is designed to be Velcro just right, then folded frontwards and clipped shut, then rolled and clipped closed again, which is all very secure but not particularly helpful for quick grab-and-go type gear retrieval that you'll typically experience on a short day hike. You have to be prepared to take a minute to undo everything, dig out what you need, then fasten it all back up again, which is more comparable to a traditional backpack intended for overnight trips. The kind that have a series of flaps and fasteners you have to work through to get inside. But shorter ultralight backpacking trips are more or this bag's jam. The key word here being ultra light. This bag is not for you heavy gear haulers who pack cans of beans and camp chairs. It's streamlined for lighter loads. And surprisingly, I could actually pack everything I needed for an overnight in this bag. A summer overnight, but an overnight nonetheless. I got a tent in there, inflatable sleeping pad, extra clothes, sleeping bag liner for warm temperatures, a cook set with food and water bottles, and that was when that top webbing strap became super useful for attaching bulky gear like sleeping pads or tents. But one feature I did miss from the pack was the padded hip belt that's on most backpacking packs, which exists to help distribute weight between your hips and shoulders. Yeah, I get that the pack is designed for ultralight adventures where weight shouldn't really be that much of an issue, but the bag is still going to shift and move a fair amount, just like any bag when there's that much stuff in it. So that available webbing hip belt is going to be a must if 
you plan on taking the mile 28 backpacking. I also highly recommend the attachable shoulder pocket for overnight adventures or day hikes. Or heck, get two. It offers a way to keep your cell phone, snacks, a water bottle, map, whatever, within easy reach at all times. I personally found it super helpful on a few recent day hikes. As for the fit of the bag, it was actually pretty comfortable for an ultralight pack. Josh and I both thought so, even though we are very differently sized human people. And though the back panel, again, like other UL bags, can be a bit lumpy when the bag is full, that thin foam panel keeps gear from digging in too much. The shoulder straps are fairly wide, but I surprisingly didn't find them uncomfortable after a full day of carry. I wish there was a way to bump the sternum strap up higher though. At their highest setting, it was still lower than I would have liked on my tiny torso. But overall, it's a solid pack. But I haven't even mentioned the fabric and sustainability yet. So let's talk about what this bag is made of. Namely, Challenge Sailcloth Eco Pack EPX Fabrics. What does that mean? What, you're not familiar with Challenge Sailcloth Eco Pack EPX Fabrics? <laughs> well, fine then, we'll tell you. This material is 100% recycled, multi-layered, and laminated polyester fabric. What does that mean? <laughs> We'll tell you that too. Basically, it means this pack is lightweight, sure, but it's also durable AF, which is excellent. Cause look, I love an ultralight pack as much as the next 100 pound hiker, which is to say a lot, but I'll be the first to admit that ultralight fabrics aren't always the most durable. In fact, a lot of them need to be babied and treated with extreme care in order to make them last as long as possible. So yeah, you'll probably end up patching and repairing UL packs and gear more than their heavy your more ruggedly durable counterparts. And you better be patching and repairing your gear instead of just throwing it in a landfill. I mean, could you even call yourself an outdoor lover if you didn't? But we're getting off topic. Back to this eco pack fabric. Because it's layered, the pack is a lot stronger and more durable than soft and supple nylon. Plus it's waterproofed with PFC free DWR, which is a plus. That said, while the fabric is water resistant, the pack seams aren't. So you should still consider a pack liner or cover for wet weather adventures. So this stuff is made from recycled water bottles, which reduces waste and energy consumption in the manufacturing process. In fact, each yard of eco pack fabric can contains over 20 plastic bottles and saves over one pound of carbon emissions over virgin materials. Not too shabby. Uh, also eco design win. Because of how the fabric and pack are made, Waymark Gear Co. is also able to create less textile waste, AKA unusable fabric scraps, when cutting patterns for their packs, which is pretty cool and innovative. Bonus, it's available in a slew of colors. This BT dubs is the Red Rock. Bonus, bonus, to take the pain out of buying a pack online, you have 14 days to try it on, load it with your gear and ensure it fits after the pack is shipped. If it doesn't, Waymark will let you return the pack and exchange it for a different size, which is really beneficial when ordering online from small brands when, you know, you can't try packs on in store. So again, win. Whew, that was a lot to run through. Are there any questions about the Waymark Gear Co. Mile 28 liter we didn't answer? Ask them in the comments below. Then go check out the Mile 28 via the link in the description because it really is a functional, durable, sustainable pack. But before you leave us to drool over new gear, it would mean the world to us if you would hit that thumbs up and click subscribe. <laughs> then go ahead and ring the bell. That way you can show your support of our little channel and make sure you never miss a rad new video. Then follow us on all the socials, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We're at TerraDrift on all of them. And be sure to check out TerraDrift.com where you'll find all sorts of additional content that isn't here on YouTube, like destination highlights and lists of our favorite gear and cool new TerraDrift swag. And as always, thanks for watching. Now shoulder that ultralight gear and wander on. Farther and faster, ideally. Why else go ultralight, you know? Seriously, I wish you guys could touch this. It's like, it's serious. I'm surprised they got this down to a pound, man. That's some, like, I'm gonna, I'm tempted to just take this outside and start chucking it in thorn bushes. Okay, the, uh, the stretchy pocket might not fare so well, but the rest of this, holy crap. This is holding up for a long time. Like this is, this is a generational pack. Pass this down to your children. Long story short, you want a super durable ultralight pack that's not oversized and bulky? Boom, Waymark 28 liter. You're welcome.